that's going to be a Wexford ball. There's noticeable tension all over this ground. Look at the faces. Long way to go yet. Yes, sir. 20 minutes. And a key thing there, the, 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 ref, the referee looked at the umpire there for that last incident when the goalkeeper was actually charged on by Patrick Tobin and there was no need for him to go in. In fairness to Dane Edward Fitzhenry, he got up straight away after the tackle. Adrian Fennell to hit this one. Such noise around Croke Park this afternoon, he misses it. Gets it back second time. Larry O'Gorman now, going for the point. He's put it over the bar. A second point for the left half back, wearing the number nine. A rallying score if ever there was one, because Wexford have a four-point lead. Can the 14 men do it? And bring the Liam McCarthy Cup back to Wexford for the first time since 1968. Kieran Carey has moved into midfield. Is he now to be the loose man, I wonder? We'll just wait and see on that one. They need somebody who can exert a far greater influence because Wexford are the masters at this stage. Adrian Fenlon, another scoring chance. And that was a relatively easy one by his standards. Bad yes, miss. That was a bad miss by Adrian Fenlon. He had Tom Dinsey all alone inside him that he could use a hand pass. Right, a turning point of the game possibly now. You're thinking you're about to say Kieran Carey, now the extra or loose man. Yes, and uh, we're at a stage in the game now. I think Lee Limerick need an, a leader on the pitch. And uh, Gary Kirby has struggled to get into the game. They're looking to the likes of Limerick now to take the game to Wexford. Might well be that here he is. He's going to get the chances. And he's taken the score. Second point of the game for Kieran Carey. You remember that fine rallying point in the first half. A great run forward. So three points the margin. Meanwhile, Limerick on the far side are preparing Brian Tobin from Mongret. Perhaps he'll be entering the fray pretty soon. Just 20 years of age. Damien Fitzhenry. I think we're going to be in for a last great 18 minutes of this final. Martin Storey. Dropping a little bit short. Quaid has it. Keeping it away from Tom Dempster, attempting to do so. Referee says free out. Well, it was dropped short there from that shot by Martin Storey, and that's where Tom Dempsey caught the goalkeeper. Tom, I think, just wanted to hold him up, but uh, Joe going down like a sack of potatoes there. Adrian Fennell. This is Mark Foley. Stylish left half back. Lobbed in there. TJ Ryan waiting for it, but he doesn't get it. Well, that's so frustrating for an inside forward when the shots like that go over your head and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Two goalkeepers are having a great say in the outcome of this match. Martin Story trying to guide that into his path. Instead, it's taken by Declan Nash. Colm Co. Next, it's Damien Quigley. Score of 2 3 here, of course, two years ago against Offaly. Quigley with just one point so far. Rod Guiney playing tenaciously in the second half, but it's Frankie Carroll who advances. Looking for some latitude to hit that shot inside. It's Jared Cush. Kicking it away, aware that he might be hooked towards Adrian Fenlon, but to win that battle against Mike Hoolan and done very well. Martin Storey next, free in. It's a display of tremendous skill, but character and courage as well by Wexford here. And really they are asking the questions of Limerick once again. Yes, again, and again, the referee again has no alternative, he's been held there by Mark Foley. But I mean, again, great, great defensive play by Wexford. And Limerick having the extra man, tis, tis, tis Wexford are taking the game to Limerick when it should be the other way around. Well, Limerick have a fresh player into the fray as we anticipated, and that is Brian Tobin from Mungret. And going off, TJ Ryan. So Limerick have now replaced their two corner forwards that they started the match with. Tom Dempsey, the free taker, and he's put it over. 
Three points for Tom Dempsey. And that goal, of course, after 19 and a half minutes of the first half, which is so important, which has delighted the fans up on the hill. Pat Murphy, the PRO there. Martin Storey has gone back to Mark Kieran Carey, who was the loose man. Wexford doing their homework very well, summing up the situation with great accuracy. Inside, and that was touched on the ground there by Barry Foley. But a number of Limerick players so far in this match have not come in with the kind of big displays that you really anticipated. Yes, Gerard, if you had said before the game that Gary Carberry was going to be very, very quiet today, nobody would have believed you. Of course, Claire last year expected James O'Connor to be the right, match yes, winner. Exactly, yeah. Maybe the hand injury sustained in the first half really is giving them trouble. Possible. Damien Fitzhenry hitting the three. So a Limerick to lose two finals in the space of three years. There's still a quarter of an hour to go. Gary Lappin. Mike Nash. Tom Dempsey taking it up next. Good block down there. It's a partial block by Declan Nash just to avert the danger momentarily. And then it was Dave Clark. He was stripped on his way out by Martin Storey. He doesn't exactly agree with the decision. Free to Limerick nonetheless. Mike Houlihan, the taker. A huge one downfield. Wind assisted. In it goes. Here's a chance. Missed by Gary. And the referees whistle. Has sounded in any case. Just as Brian Tobin was in there thinking that he might be the hero of the day. I'd like to see that again replay, Joe, what the free was for. Maybe it was infringement in the square. Here it is again. There was nobody inside in this small rectangle. Missed by Gary Kirby there. Unknown reason for me why the free was given. It's a bit puzzling, isn't it? Damien Fitzhenry will take the free. On towards Martin Storey. Trying to get around Mark Foley. They've hit a couple of poor wides now in the last three or four minutes play. But the 14 men are having to make up for the numerical disadvantage by working extra hard. Towards Frankie Carroll it comes, got to stick to it. In towards Podge Tobin. Liam Dunn. Gary Kirby in with, there with the challenge. Hand passed outside towards Tobin again. And he's put it wide. They're looking a bit listless at times, Limerick. So who's going to lift this right now? If you look at the scoreline just above it, it's Wexford who lead by four points. Fitzhenry's puck out. The third of the Fitzhenry brothers to figure prominently with Wexford. Kieran Carey and Frankie Carroll, one-handed forward by Adrian Fenland, backed by Mike Hulahan for Limerick. They chase and after it. Damien Fitzhenry watches it. And it goes harmlessly wide. And Jer Kosh there in need of attention, just on the bottom right of the screen. Well, Wexford fans have seen their side put in such a dashing effort so far. The first, what is it, 24 minutes or so of the second half. They'll be keenly aware of just one Limerick goal, one chance, and they can be right back in it. And they may do to Wexford what Offaly did to them. Yes, sir, and we've seen the last two finals. We've seen the last two finals over the last two years. I mean, it's come down to the 70th minute. No matter how far our team has been ahead. And, has been ahead. and again, Limerick are still winning a chance. They've got 13 minutes to go, and uh, they're still winning a good chance. John Flavin is warming up for Limerick on the far side. Jer Kush has gone off. He's now back on again. So Fitzhenry pops out. 11 minutes to go. Back to Gary Kirby. A huge one by Gary Kirby, but always going to the left. He hasn't been on his match this afternoon. But there's still time. Damien Fitzhenry in no particular hurry with the puck out. Gary Kirby with just two points in the match, both of them coming from freeze in the first half. 
suffering from a finger injury, no doubt about that. So all to play for you feel still. Both sides capable of taking the cup. Story. And he's missed another one. Well, they could be terribly costly misses yet. Joe Quaid has Mark Foley totally unmarked on the left-hand side of the field here. He's suddenly kind of become the loose man. As Wexford have thrown players back in numbers, really. Trying to get back behind the ball, anticipating what's going to happen. Lands with Kieran Carey, drops it down. Next is Larry O'Gorman. What a match Larry's playing. Score of two points so far. Fouled by Damien Quigley. Now, is it going to be Liam Griffin and his team's day? It has seemed like that, but we know how quickly matches such as this can change. Yes, sir, the one worrying thing though from Limerick is, this, is, is the way they're playing at the moment, the way they're wasting position. They don't seem to be taking the fight to Limerick at, at this stage, and uh, they need, really need to be up in their play now. They need a bit of inspiration over there. Liam Dunn. In it goes. Tom Dempsey will be hoping to kill off the Limerick challenge completely with possibly another goal. Mike Houlihan advancing. Stopped by Gary Lappin, who needs a replacement stick. That'll be a sideline ball for Limerick. John Flavin continuing to warm up on the far side there. Just beyond Mike Houlihan, who's about to take the sideline cut. Towards Sean O'Neill, runs on. Barry Foley. The four points in the first half, now just a memory. Cherkosh back here. Good play by Cherkosh. Only as far as Kieran Carey, however. Stopped by Martin Storey. Captain against captain. Outside the 45 metre line. Limerick needing the point here. And he's put it wide. Oh, the agony that the Limerick fans must be feeling right now. Here in Croke Park and watching at home. I think I know who she feels. Rory McCarthy, good ball inside, stopped here by Mike Nash. Jerkosh again under it, what a tremendous catch! Operating at right corner back towards George O'Connor, enjoying himself now in his first ever All Ireland final. Adrian Fenlon, it's stopped by Steve McDonough towards Gary Kirby and again the referee's whistle sounds this time it's Gary Kirby who's indicted the foul on Liam Dunn free to Wexford there are a few looking at options now for Limerick maybe it might be better off putting Gary Kirby to foot forward and bringing out maybe Devian Quigley out to, uh, just add a bit of life to their, their half hour line because it, they're very very dead around the middle of the field at the half hour of the stage this is what happened here and Turlock Herbert has just come on, the Ahan man. Here he comes. And Barry Foley, scorer of four points in the first half, has been replaced. He was the hero up to half time. That's Limerick's third change. Larry Murphy fumbles. Steve McDonough has it. They'll now feel they need a bit of a miracle. It's still possible. Good play there by John O'Connor. Sean O'Neill straight on a waiting Wexford man who is Larry O'Gorman who's having a tremendous, tremendous All-Ireland final. Mike Nash. Kieran Carey on his left-hand side. Down it goes towards Gary Kirby has moved in. And there are Wexford players there to try and stop them. Demian Quigley inside and the referee's whistle has sounded. Well, I think they had momentarily switched Gary Kirby in that time to follow that in along with uh, Podge Tobin. And Wexford with a couple of wounded heroes in there, John O'Connor one of them. Here's what happened. Yes, sir, but it was a more sensible ball again by Kieran Carey, though. I mean, in the first 
five or ten minutes there gone by he's, he's opted hit balls wide from long range this time he put a ball in around the square and it caused a little bit of danger if he can do that over the next couple of minutes who knows what's going to happen two players injured Liam Dunn and